As a parish community, every day in our divine renovation prayer we pray. Make us a welcoming community of love, forgiveness and acceptance to all we meet. Are we truly welcoming? Who do we welcome fully and accept in our lives and in our parish? If a stranger who looks hungry, weak and tired knocks on your door, would you offer him food and shelter? If that same person walked into Sacred Heart Church, what would be your response? Would you say hello and welcome him with a smile? Of course, in this time of social distancing and the COVID-19 virus, we might think twice about opening our, our doors even to friends, let alone to strangers. That is because we are being responsible. We want to protect ourselves, our families, and the larger community from the virus. 2800 years ago, in biblical times, it was the same. Diseases were rampant. There were thieves. People faced danger in much the same way as we do. It was common for travelers to seek shelter in homes along the way because there were no hotels or motels. Only some would risk their lives and open their doors to host these strangers, strangers in need. In this Sunday's first reading, we hear about a very hospitable woman in Shunem who opened her home to the prophet Elisha. He was a stranger at first and then she started giving him food and letting him stay at her home when he was on his way to Mount Carmel to pray. Jesus say in the gospel, says in the gospel, Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. The woman in Shunem indeed welcomed and accepted a prophet. Her hospitality and faith in God rewarded her with Elisha's blessing. When Jesus uses the word receives, it is more than just welcoming. It is being hospitable. Who can we accept and welcome into our daily lives? We welcome all who are able to join us back into church this weekend. Continue to stay safe. God bless.